guys, my name is Christina and welcome back to another journaling video. This video was supposed to go up over a month ago, but things were really, really crazy and intense. I will say that so far February has been the most stressful month this year, like a lot has happened, but I will go into more detail throughout this video. I really love the way I ended up decorating this February spread just because it's really florally, really cute, and very pinkish, and I, I just love it so much. And I kind of want to continue making it this way, making these simple spreads, and kind of um, opening up to you guys and telling you guys more about my life and what goes on every single month. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos, and if so, please subscribe. So I'm not very good at script writing, like I just don't write in script, I'm always writing in print, but I want to kind of learn and figure it out and I love the way I did this with the highlighter. So I used the pink midliner and then I used one of my um, little sip of pens in hot pink to kind of form a shadow around the lettering and I love the way this turned out. I also have a lot of floral stickers for my Happy Planner sticker books. So I decided to use those throughout these spreads along with some cherry blossom washi tape that I got through Amazon a few years ago. I don't really have any of these washi tape links just because they were bought a few years ago and or at random stores so I can't list those but I will list the floral happy planner sticker book the midliners and the sip of pens down below for you guys to check out if you're interested so one of the first events that happened in February was the completion of the construction on our second floor at home. I'm so happy it's finally finished. Now our second floor is usable. If you guys aren't aware, we did um, renovations for three bedrooms and one full bathroom and a master closet. And it was crazy. It took about two months. We were two and a half weeks behind schedule due to supplies and um, scheduling conflicts. but finally done we're finally moved in the nursery is done the guest room's done master bedroom is finished and it's beautiful i love the way it turned out totally worth the wait <laughs> and stress um the next spread i didn't think i would ever have to do um as you all are aware the issues that are going on with, in ukraine and it's very very sad um and if you're not aware, I am also from Ukraine. I immigrated to America when I was four years old in 1998. I'm originally from Lviv in Ukraine and I do have a lot of family there. And right now that I know of, everyone's okay. Um, but it it's so stressful and I did want to dedicate a couple pages for Ukraine. And I'm like lost for words like it's so hard to even like talk about this but I really wanted to spread and I wrote a few things down um I wasn't sure what to write because it's such a shock to me that this even happened I like I not a million years did I ever think that our country would be under attack like this like it, it was just I'm just speechless and heartbroken and so stressed out and it's just so upsetting I I as you guys can see I'm lost for words it's really hard so there isn't much I can say all I can really do is just wait for updates from family members to make sure everyone's okay Um, after I gave birth to my daughter, my mom and I did go out and we bought a bunch of medical supplies and medicine and also donated some money and every, like, we try to do anything we possibly can to help out the soldiers in Ukraine fighting for their freedom. I can't believe this happened to Ukraine. Like, 
I just pray and hope that it's over soon and they win and they're independent and my family is safe. In this spread, I did want to dedicate it to my daughter. Our daughter was born February 25th, the day after the Ukrainian bombing. And you guys, it was such a stressful moment. Like, uh, such a stressful month. I had to go through construction, unpacking, and Ukraine issues. And then my daughter was born. It was just so much all at once. and. I was extremely overwhelmed and lost and all over the place and it, it was just too much. But I did have a really um, successful vaginal birth with my daughter. She was born healthy and beautiful, like she's literally the joy and the brightness and the light during these dark times right now. She makes a smile and laugh every single day. She is growing so quickly. By the time this video is uploaded and everything, she's over a month old and seriously, she's, she's, she's the best. I love her so, so much. Right now while I'm editing this video, she's taking a nap, but we'll see how long that lasts because she's not a big napper. She just, no, she wants to be awake and wants to play and um, interact with us. It's so adorable. And my sister and my mom have been very, very helpful. They've been visiting often and helping out. And my house was a huge mess and they even cleaned our whole house for us when I went to labor. It was, it, it was amazing. I honestly couldn't have done or survived the, the end of February without my mom and my sister. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail about my birth experience. That is something I want to film for my main channel. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, you can check out my main channel, which is linked in the description box down below. And I should be uploading a video on there, hopefully in April. It's just, it's really hard to sit down and record videos with a newborn because she just constantly needs my attention. Like even this journaling video, the filming and the editing took me a week. <laughs> because I have to stop and take care of her and then I go back and I film then I have to stop take care of her and, and then it's just it's just crazy it's really hard to have a consistent schedule at the moment but I do think once she gets older uh, maybe a couple more months she'll be more consistent and we'll figure out ways for me to get back to um, journaling and recording videos and whatnot but I will say right now it's still a little difficult and I try my hardest to get some videos up. But yeah. I did want to um, create two more pages regarding the birth. So I, but instead of going into like great detail, I kind of wrote it out as a time slot. Like and bulletin points kind of. Like I just wanted to write down notes and use this spread as my notes section for when I do film my birthing video. So I didn't go into great detail. I just wrote down like, oh, when my water broke, what I did after that, and when we got to the hospital, when did I get the IV, the epidural, when did I start contracting really bad, and when I had to start pushing and everything. So, so it's not in like super great detail, but it's um, everything is just listed there. <laughs> but I will be recording a birth story, hopefully soon. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it feels all over the place, um, but I hope to get better at this soon. I would love if you guys could give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Bye. Thank you.